Moving on to your marquee fighter, Manny Pacquiao. What's going on with that? Because we thought he was going to fight Horn, and then Amir Khan comes out of nowhere, and then Bob says the deal's off, so now we're kind of scratching our heads because I read a thing that Broner's back in the running now for some time in the summer. So what have you heard, and what's going on with Manny? Well, I, I just heard he's going to fight Van Heerden in South Africa. No way. What? Really? <laughs> that was out yesterday. What? Yeah, I read that. So I says, I don't think so. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, Manny's uh, getting towards the end of the career, yes. But he still has uh, some good fights left in him. And uh, if we're going to continue to fight, we're going to we're gonna fight at the top level. We want the best guys out there. And um, whoever it may be, I mean, there's nobody I'm going to turn down for Pacquiao. I mean... He, if he wants to continue and be, he has to be in the top 10. I mean, the thing is, uh, there's no sense of fighting guys outside of that and just for a show. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, he, he's got to be a contender still, and I think he is, and his work ethic is still there. And um, But we'll, um, I, I look forward to getting him back in the gym and working with him because he's still my favorite favorite fighter to work with in the world. He's, his work ethic is still better than better than anybody. From what you've heard, when do you expect him to come back in the ring, and when do you expect him to come here or go over to the Philippines where you're going to go ahead and be with him in camp? Well, it looks like his next break for his Senate is like May or June, so that's when I'll go over and then we'll get ready for the fight. And uh, we'll then we'll... So we'll fight, what, in July and September then? July would be the latest because yeah. he, he, at the end of July he has to be back in session. So, um, so uh, we'd have a six week training camp and um, get ready for whoever it may be. Who looks like at this point the most likely opponent to fight him? Um, well, Amir Khan was a good, a good fight and fight that I would like to see. You know, so I, I, I did like that fight. But according to Bob, it was all just a bunch of BS. But the thing is, um, they try to get that fight through Dubai. And Dubai has been telling us they're going to come up with the money for 30 years now. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. How long is it? We heard a big fight's going to be in Dubai. It yeah. just never happens. So, um, you know, I don't know who it may be, but I mean, I would like Manny to, to Lemonchenko. Uh, maybe a catch weight or something of that nature. That'd be a great fight. Um, he might be the best pound for pound fighter in the world today, but I think Manny can. I think Manny can still compete at that level. All right, Freddie. I know we got to give these other people a chance to go and talk to you. I'll check back in with you in a little bit because I want to talk about Cotto and George okay. and a bunch of other people. So here with Freddie Roach here at the Wild Card, uh, Marcos Vegas. Thank you for you guys for watching.